Hi, I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer. A national youth sports program has just been launched to build confidence in kids in sports. Do you know that 35 million kids play organized sports every year and that 92% of parents of youth athletes felt that sports programs were important to the overall development of their children? according to a survey by the National PTA. So it might surprise you that another national survey said that 45.3% of those kids have been yelled at, called names, or been insulted by coaches. 21% report they've been pressured to play with an injury. Abuse from the coaches is bad enough, but youth sports is also filled with loads of overbearing parents putting pressure on their kids to perform up to their high standards and expectations. You can imagine the car ride home from such a game when athletes fall short with that kind of a parent. Parents' disapproval and disappointment can do even more damage to a kid's confidence and well-being than a coach or teammate can. And all those numbers, they don't even take into account the bullying that goes on as well in sports. According to the National Education Association, 71% of kids say bullying is a problem for them. What can we do? Well, in another nationwide survey of 20,000 kids who were asked about their participation in sports, the number one reason for playing is to have fun. And that shouldn't surprise you. So why are some talented kids quitting? Well, according to a Youth Sports Institute of Michigan State study, 10,000 kids, here's some of the top reasons why kids quit organized youth sports. They're not having fun. It requires too much time. The coach plays favorites. The coach is a poor teacher. There's too much pressure, too much emphasis on winning. Or they just want to participate in other non-sport activities. And they need more time to study. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.